everyone, welcome to another GDevelop tutorial and today we will create a screen shake effect. Okay, before I show you this example project I created uh, for this tutorial, I'll actually show you how this thing works uh, in my own game. So this is my game and uh, recently I actually implemented a little screen shake here, so I'll show you. Uh, if I just move uh, my character and it just falls, you know, nothing happens. Uh, but if I actually try to use this smash uh, feature of this game, right, so like this, you see there is like a little screen shake happening. Let me show you. You see? The screen shakes. And I think it's a really nice addition to this game, uh, I think it works quite well. And makes it look a little bit more interesting, okay? So let me close this. And uh, this is another project I just created for this tutorial. Uh, it's not physics based as my game, so I just wanted to make things a little bit simpler. Uh, this character just has a uh, platform character behavior, nothing special here. And these are just platforms, so uh, nothing special here as well. And if I run the project, um, we, we, you see there is a, like a little uh, counter here. And I will show you in a minute what it actually does. So if I just jump and go around, this is nothing special. But if I jump from this platform, uh, which is quite high, right, uh, our screen will shake when we touch the ground. Okay, so it doesn't happen here, doesn't happen here, but happens here. Okay, so if I jump really high. And it's all based on this timer, right, so it will just count my uh, air time, basically how much time I'm in the air. If I'm in the air for a long time, that means I'm falling for a long time, and then we can shake the screen. Okay, so simple as that. Uh, so let me start this project from scratch, and then I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so here we go. We have our almost empty project. Uh, I have already my assets here. Uh, so we're gonna start by just setting up the grid. Uh, it's just easier like this. It's already set up in my case. It's 96 by 96 This is purely because my assets are 96 pixels based assets, right? So uh, I'll drag in my player and platform and I try to recreate the same thing we had before more or less. So I'll just copy this And copy this something like that. I think it was something like this uh, so let's make sure we have here our okay uh, platformer character behavior, right? So you can always add it from here, platformer character. So this will uh, make our player move, and this should be uh, a platform behavior. Once again, just go here add platform, and I, I selected jump through platform so I can actually jump through the platform uh, from the bottom. But I, if I fall on it, I will step on top of it. Right, uh, and then another thing I have is my background, just to make it a little bit nicer. Uh, for the background, I'll just create another layer here, uh, so it will not move with the camera. Right, so I add a layer, and I call it uh, background. And I'll move it under my base layer. Okay, and now I can send my background to the background. And everything should work right now. Okay, so if I run the project, yes, my character jumps to the platform. Camera doesn't move because we don't have any actions there. I'll just change also the Z order of my character to be uh, greater than my platform Z order, so we can actually see the character always on on top on top. Uh, so I'll just choose like five for the character and something like I don't know, one for the platforms, okay? So that's cool, that's the basic setup we need. Uh, next thing, we'll just go to our events and make sure that always, so I don't put anything here, I add an action, so uh, camera, uh, center camera on an object. Uh, by the way, I have another tutorial here, so you can see it already in GDevelop. Uh, if you want to make your camera to move smoothly, uh, if you want to have the smooth camera movement, you can just watch this tutorial and uh, you'll see how to do it. But for this example, I'm doing the simplest thing we can. Okay, so we center the camera just on uh, our object and that's fine. Press OK. 
and if we run now the camera always follows our player okay that's exactly what we want to do uh, so that's fine um, so the next thing I want to do here is uh, actually set up a uh, scene variable the one that will actually uh, calculate how much time we are spending in the air and not on the on the ground so to do that we just right click here scene properties edit scene variables and let's add on uh, our variable okay so add one and the variable is gonna we're gonna call it like air time and initial value let's just put zero okay so that's cool um, and so how do we change this variable so we'll add another empty event here and we will say when our player is not on the floor so when our player is not touching the floor so we inverted the condition here right so you see this little sign it means like uh, we invert the condition so when it's not on the floor uh, we change the var variable so uh, value of a scene variable airtime it's already here because we created it add one okay so it will always add one uh, continuously when we are in the air so it's gonna go like one two three four five six seven eight, nine ten and so on okay and we also want to make sure that we actually see that right because uh, if you want to uh, if you want to uh, make our um, screen shake after a certain value it's better to actually see it on screen so we can know uh, what is the effect we want to achieve so in order to do that I'll just create a text object text here and I call it uh, we can call it airtime as well okay and text we just leave whatever here I'll just put it here somewhere in the corner okay I actually can disable uh, my grid so it's easier to move things around okay so it's there uh, but it's actually it looks like this should be part of our UI so it's always stays in the same uh, corner so I'll create another layer here uh, on top of my base layer and I call it UI and I actually put this text on layer UI okay so now you can just move around and you have the, the text always there okay and uh, we need to show something some value there all the time right so we can use still use this condition which has nothing so it means this will happen always and I add an action select my airtime and modify text and it should equal to so let's leave like a label here airtime okay something like this close it uh, plus, uh, what else we gonna show there? Uh, variable, value of a scene variable. Uh, we called it air time as well. Okay. So basically, what we done here, it will uh, text will always show of air time uh, and a value of our scene variable. So simple as that. So if we do this, okay, you see, whenever we jump, the value goes up. But the problem is now is that when we touch the ground, it doesn't reset. Okay, we, we would like to reset the value, uh, but we're gonna do it later. Uh, so now we need to make sure that uh, something happens when we touch the ground and when the value is uh, high enough to uh, reproduce the screen shake. Okay, so we need a new condition here. So let's say uh, when uh, our player is in collision with our platform uh, and also we want to make sure that um, this uh, triggers once because if we don't put this one it will just trigger continuously when we just touch the platform so we just want to make sure uh, it happens just once and we need to create two situations right so whenever our um, um, you know air time is very high so we are ready to reproduce the screen shake or our airtime is not that high enough to to reproduce the screen shake, right? So we will use subconditions here, and I'll put it here, and we'll say like uh, variable uh, scene variable airtime is uh, let's say like I don't know equals or greater than uh, sixty. Then something will happen. Okay, so let's just copy this once more. 
copy and uh, paste and say like when it's actually uh, less than 60 okay something else will happen okay so what will happen um, so at this time uh, we actually need to, need to introduce uh, a timer right so we will sh uh, sh uh, shake our screen uh, using a tim timer and let's create our first timer uh, right here you know uh, we will create another um, empty event just click plus here and let's say at the beginning of the scene uh, beginning of the scene we create a timer but we pause them because we don't need the timer running straight away so let's just say something like pause a scene timer and we call it like i don't know falling maybe that's a good name uh, so we pause this timer here now let's go back to our uh, you know these two events and um, uh, when you know we are in collision with the platform and is equal to greater than 60 we actually un unpause our timer unpause our timer uh, which was called uh, falling okay and we also reset the timer and uh, why are we doing this uh, it's because we want to start whenever this happens we start the timer from zero and it will run from zero one two three four five and so on so uh, it's called falling okay and at this point as well we want to reset this variable to zero right so um, you know when we touch the floor it's actually will reset the, the this variable to zero so it will only run when we jump okay so then we also add this what if it's in variable air time equals to zero okay and we can copy and paste this thing here as well because we all want to reset it it doesn't matter uh, how much air time we have we just want to reset it every time when we touch the platform okay so let's just copy this and paste it here okay so uh, if we run the project now what will happen we don't see anything happening about the timer but now you can see that air time resets all the time we touch the ground so it just runs when we in the air and now it goes back to zero so that's good and so what will happen now so not now we need to still work with our timer because from now when we uh when the air time is more than 60 when we touch the platform we start this timer and so what will happen on uh, on this timer okay so let's let's add another event okay and this shouldn't be a sub event just on its own and we will say like um so timer value of a scene timer and uh, in seconds okay so let's put like uh, zero so when we reset the timer timers name falling uh, we will uh, move our camera a little bit away from our, our usual position okay so um, we will choose camera uh, Y because we will shake our camera on the uh, vertical axis and we say equals to player y position right because it's already there but we move it by uh, a few pixels right so i'll move it by i don't know uh, plus nine okay so we'll just move our camera away just uh, when uh, our timer is on zero so it's for a little fraction of second actually okay uh, so that's fine so that's the, the the first shake we're gonna do at this point we can copy this again so copy and paste so we'll shake our camera multiple times but it will become less and less with every shake so it will just uh, you know uh, it, it will not shake by s uh, same values for for uh, many times it will reduce the kind of the speed of it right uh, so um, when this is now zero point zero uh, I don't know let's add some not zero one but maybe like zero three so zero point zero three uh, we will not do here minus nine we'll do here minus something like minus um, six maybe let's go by three okay 
uh, minus 6 and then let's try to do it again so copy paste now when it here is 0 0.06 we'll go here and do something like plus 3 okay and so on until we actually uh, arrive to almost zero, right? So I'll just do it a couple of more times. Okay, and now we can test uh, the, uh, the result here. Uh, but before that, I, I want to pause my timer uh, after the last shake, okay? So I'll just uh, copy this one, copy and paste it here, okay? So let's see if that works. So nothing happens if we jump on these platforms, but if we jump from this one... Okay, our screen shaked. And that's cool, you know, the, the cool thing about this, you know, you can control uh, after how much time you actually want to... Uh, um, how much time in the air you want to shake your screen, so it depends on the, uh, on the platform. You can do things like... Uh, maybe make the screen shake more or less depending on how high you are um, you can actually kill your uh, character if you jump from very very high uh, building or something okay and uh, and i think uh, this was uh, you know a little interesting addition to any game it i i was very happy when i added to this thing to my game and uh, i hope this was helpful and uh, if you have any other solutions how to do a screen shake uh, actually, I would be really, really interested to hear it in the comments below. And um, please subscribe, please follow me on Twitter, join my Discord server uh, to know more, to see more tutorials. And uh, I hope to see you next time and thanks for watching.